Welcome back to Inside the Vault. I'm Chris Collinsworth with Jill Wagner, Alonzo Bowden, Motor Trends, Angus McKenzie with us as well. And we are talking food and cars. We have uh, taken you a lot of different places on this program. <laughs> Let's see how creative you can get now, big boy. Well, you know, the food car connection to my wife's everlasting dismay doesn't work with me. I seem to be the only man she knows who doesn't cook. But I will say this, a car will always get you to food. I mean, in America, the roadside diner started in the 1920s. Right. The fast food joint, uh, the White Castle in Kansas, started in 1921. The food car connection is there. But we know chefs are really competitive in the kitchen. What we wanted to find out was whether they're competitive out of the kitchen. So we took three chefs from Las Vegas's Venetian, sent them to the track with Justin Bell. Let's find out what happened. Chefs are known for being among the most competitive people in the world, and nowhere is that more apparent than here in Las Vegas, home of the high roller, the gambler, and some of the best restaurants in America. My name is Michael Armstrong. I'm the executive chef at Tao Asian Bistro in Las Vegas, the top grossing restaurant in the country. I'm Koji Noda, Tao Las Vegas, uh, number one sushi in the world. Hi, I'm Mark Barone, the chef de cuisine here at Lavo in Las Vegas, the uh, best Italian restaurant on the Strip. Mike's a good chef, not a very good driver. Uh, Koji, I'm not really sure about him. I don't think he knows how to drive. Now the challenge today is going to be to see which of you is the fastest chef around this 1.5 mile racetrack. Loser has to head back to Vegas and actually cook dinner for the rest of us. First up is Mike. You got to put it in drive before you can go. I know it's wet, but isn't he from Seattle? Time to shut those haters up. Competitive, you think? Are we racing? Or is my grandmother driving? <laughs> well, you know, Mark's from New York, so, you know, like most New Yorkers, he he thinks he's going to be the top dog. A little East Coast, West Coast tension going on here. Well, Koji's from Japan. He lives at City Center and drives a little scooter to work. You know, how good of a driver can he be? Now, Here he comes. That's not bad at all from Mike. He just grew up here. It's go time. Mark from Lavo steps up to the plate. He really doesn't want to cook tonight. Just spun out, that's great. You can't forget that there's a turn there. He didn't get that memo. That's how they drive in the Bronx, I guess. All the drivers from the East Coast are faster than the ones from the West Coast. You can't drive out here. Through the line, and uh, yes, a great finish, Mark. Very <laughs> slick. After sleeping through my entire training session, Koji has more chance of complete chaos than anyone else. <laughs> We're eating sushi, damn it. Bloody hell, that's good. Ooh. Oh boy. I can safely say that Koji has woken up. <laughs> yours, was, yours was like that, but it looked like you're going backwards. It was so slow. Koji crosses the line. It's a great time. Forget East Coast, West Coast. Sushi mania has hit the USA. And the winner is... Everybody knows the results of the race, given the fact that I'm the one that's stuck cooking. I have to be honest, it was a world-class pasta. The Americans got crushed in that competition. Absolutely. Koji was, uh, seemed like he was asleep the whole time, but he just went out there and did it. Unbelievable. Now, if you had to ride in a car with one of us here, because you are the expert driver here, you've gotten a little feel for us as a group. Who would you want to ride with? Well, I'm an expert driver, but I'm a terrible passenger. So, you know, I'd have to think it through. My man here is probably going to be a little too quick and energetic. You know, I'm getting too old for this sort of stuff. You might be more on my pace these days, but, you know, I think Jill, she grew up down south, racing NASCAR stock cars. I think she'd be the one I'd and ride I with. Think... And you'd look great uh, in the car. I, that's what say, I, I didn't <laughs> phrase that. It's not a date I was we didn't asking ask you about. Who you'd like to look at in the car. <laughs> we, we're talking about driving. That, that Sore was, losers. That, that was an utter lie, America, let me tell you. More inside the vault right after this. Unbelievable. That was so lame. <laughs> so lame. Good evening. What would you like to do? Facebook newsfeed. First post. Jennifer French. 
best first date ever. The all-new Chevy Cruze with real-time Facebook status updates. When the good news just can't wait. For Jill and Alonzo, thank you so much for watching. You can see more of exactly what we're doing here on InsideTheVault.tv. I'm Chris Collinsworth. We hope you'll join us next time, Inside the Vault. Coming up on the next Inside the Vault, the American spirit defined from Baywatch to Barack Obama. Any one of us can be president. And Hollywood's cause celeb, Clooney, Pitt, and Penn. Everybody has to play a part in that, whether you're an actor or a librarian. Meet the stars giving back. Plus, the man versus the mountain. How far one ordinary dad would go to save his son. We have 10 or 15 years left with Evan. On the next Inside the Vault.